Chaos in Egypt can Chaos in Egypt continues to rage following the ousting of President Mohamed Morsi and the radical reign of the Muslim Brotherhood. Back at the White House, President Obama keeping a neutral position, according to Michelle Dunn, a former State Department official who advised Obama on Egypt, quote, we've managed now to alienate both sides in Egypt. Gunnery Sergeant Jesse Jane Duff joins us now to weigh in on this. Uh, Jesse, thanks for joining us this morning. Is the president, is the White House trying to have it both ways on this? Well, it certainly appears so, because they're a big part of the result of this problem. Um, our ambassador, Ann Patterson, was having a lot of protests against her while in Egypt because of the standing that the U.S. had. It looked like we were not supporting democracy and a, not supporting a secular government. The Egyptian people are furious with the United States for not supporting their freedoms and supporting the Muslim Brotherhood. So now the United States is in a position of having to decide, do we call this a military coup or do we support the democracy? democracy that the military is trying to put in place. Right. We have laws in place for military coups. If such a thing occurs, we are not able to give them any more money. And yes. certainly we give them upwards of $2 billion a year. But according to the law, if there's a military coup or a coup of any kind, money is cut off. So we're, we're, yes. in, a, we're in a pickle. Yes, we are. Well, General Assisi, who has stated very clearly, he's with the Egyptian army, that this is not a military coup. And General Dempsey, our chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, has warned him to make sure that this doesn't appear to be a military coup. So what is now going on is that they are assuring us that they're going to put elections in place quickly. They are ensuring the current president that they have put in, the interim president, is making sure that they invite the Muslim Brotherhood to the table. But the thing that people have to understand is the Muslim Brotherhood has been around for numerous years and has fought numerous Egyptian governments over a long period of time. And they will not go down easily. They will either fight this at the ballot box or they will use weapons. Right. And we know that they are been rounded up by the hundreds, thrown in prison. And the White House has asked them not to do so so that tensions wouldn't be on the rise. Yet they are sitting in prisons this morning, hundreds of them. After you're thrown in prison, are you likely to want to come to the negotiating table? I don't think that they're handling this necessarily the best way possible. But at the same time, they're trying not to have the coup in the streets cause a lot of death. Already, the Islamists have been accused of causing bombings with a pipeline. There have been Christians who have been attacked. They are really concerned that they must try to stifle this uprising so that it doesn't cause a massive civil war. We know Mohammed al baradai the Nobel laureate, all being put in place uh, and who was a strict opponent of, uh, of Mohammed Morsi. Uh, this is a sign that they're not going to move in this, uh, towards the Muslim Brotherhood at all. So how should the White House respond to that move, if any? Well, right now that Mohammed Mabara is not necessarily going to be in charge. They have backed off with that move because there was disturbance amongst the people with that selection. So what they have to do is find an interim person that they feel most comfortable with. Um, however, the Obama administration has been on the fence with this so often, and having John Kerry out on a boat when this uprising is occurring has not set a good precedence for this. The United States has a responsibility of looking at this funding. The military in Egypt has been one of our strongest allies since 1979. That is very important for us with our Israeli, uh, with our Israeli friends and allies in the region, and we must protect the Suez Canal. So before we go stopping the funding as Senator McCain wants us to do, we have to look at those ramifications. Hmm. We'll see where the White House comes out on this Baradai move, by the way, as well. Uh, Gunnery Sergeant Jesse Jane Duff, thanks for waking up early with this great expertise this morning. We appreciate it. Thank you very much for having me. You bet.